How to prevent sweating chocolate-covered strawberries. Last year for Valentine's Day, I decided I was going to be romantic and make some chocolate-covered strawberries for someone special. I melted and tempered some milk chocolate. Then dipped the washed and thoroughly dried strawberries into the chocolate and put them on a plate in the refrigerator to quickly set the chocolate. Later that night as my special someone and I were eating the chocolate-covered strawberries, we noticed that there was condensation both on the outside and in between the chocolate and strawberry. It was delicious nonetheless, but I was curious as to why it was sweating, and if there is anything I can do to prevent this if I decide to ever be romantic again. Very simple. Don't store your chocolate in the fridge. The ideal temperature for setting chocolate is 20 degrees Celsius. You can store it at less or more than that, but not too much. Setting in the fridge results in bad chocolate. Remember, when you work with chocolate, exact temperatures are extremely important. Here a loose translation from a good article, see link, 1. On chocolate, couverture coating. This is the usual case. You only want a temperature difference of 12 degrees to 13 degrees between the chocolate and its environment as well as between the chocolate and the confect interior. If the interior is colder than the room, the setting will happen, inside out. The cocoa butter film which gives a confect its shine will build on the inside, leaving the outside looking dull. This is a really good case for some types of confect, but you can't do it with most types of filling, definitely not with strawberries. Cooling from the outside gives you a beautiful shine. If you want to achieve a good shine, it is possible to put the confects in the fridge for a short time, but only after they have cooled to 20 degrees Celsius at room temperature. Don't let them fall to fridge temperature, take them out at 15 degrees Celsius. The continued cooling from the outside is beneficial. This shouldn't happen. The temperature difference is too small, and the confect doesn't set quick enough. In this case, cocoa butter pools on the surface and creates a yellowish layer after it hardens. When you make your confect, you should time the first piece. The setting should need 10 minutes. If it is less, you don't get all the possible shine. If it needs more, it will get gray or whitish yellow.